Well, salutations, fellow idiots. Welcome back to yet another motherfucking episode of that full moon madness, baby. Unfortunately, the market is out of old Germans. I bought their asses out. I've been trying to avoid the Mickeys lately and stick to that stuff because it's considerably lighter, but unfortunately it's come to this. In any case, we're going to make the best of it. Today's episode is important for two different reasons. It closes out our first wave of reviews and kicks off our second wave of pickups from the Valentine's Day sale. Or the Valentine's sale, whatever the fuck. It wasn't just one day, it was like two weeks or something like that. I got an absolutely epic call from it, not least of which is Seed People. This is one that uh, I definitely knew that I was aware of it in terms of the title and the cover. But I was unsure if I'd actually seen it or just seen bits of it in video zones. After watching it for this review, it became quite clear it was a movie I'd seen several times as a kid. I want to say I rented it at least once or twice and probably saw it on TV once or twice as well. Because there are a lot of scenes in this that were super familiar that I remember seeing, you know, multiple times as a kid. In any case, this is our first appearance, I think, of effects by John Buechler on this list. Won't be the last. And it's just a solid little, like, pod person movie, basically. We'll obviously dive into the finer details of that right now. But trust me, this is a movie you're going to want to put on your TV list because it's worth watching, especially with some beer and some popcorn in you. Seed People was written by Jackson Barr based on an original idea by Charles Band. It was produced by Charles Band and Ann Kelly, and it was directed by Peter Minugian, who I believe has showed up in one or two reviews already. He was notorious for doing, like, second unit directing for various movies, and I think doing some director of photography work as well. In any case, it's got music by Bob Mithoff. It's got cinematography by Adolfo Bertoli. It was edited by Tom Barrett and Burt Glatstein. Obviously, it was distributed by Full Moon Entertainment, and it was released on May 28th of 1992. Stars Sam Hennings, Andrea Roth, Dane Witherspoon, Bernard Cates, Holly Fields, John Mooney, and Anne Benton Court. Basic gist of Seed People is a scientist dude. I believe his name is Tom Baines. He's played by Sam Hennings comes into this small town of Comet Valley, a town he has a history in. He used to date the lady that runs the local bed and breakfast. There's some tension and an uncomfortable love triangle that has absolutely nothing to do with the overall plot or progression of the movie. That stuff aside, as he's coming into town to do like, you know, this talk on meteorites, which is like his field of expertise, he studies them. The bridge is being closed, so everybody here for the next few days is stuck here for a while. He's doing this talk on meteorites, because, you know, this town of Comet Valley is named as such because it's a hot spot for, you know, these things hitting the earth. There's people that go out there and, like, hunt for them. You know, people that stumble across them just doing their farm work because there's lots of orchards and whatnot in the area. Uh, so he's been invited in to do this talk about you know, meteorites or whatever. It just so happens, as he's in town and the bridge has been closed, these sort of weird alien plants that have sprouted in these orchards start infecting people and turning them into these strange creatures. They then in turn can go around and sort of hypnotize other people into doing their bidding. So they can kind of body snatch folks, and they have also been body snatched themselves in a weird way. And their whole gimmick is they're trying to amass an army of drones so that they can uncover this giant meteor in this field that has a bunch of these other seed pods so that they can grow more alien plants to infect more people properly and actually turn them into these creatures. The only three creatures we get are the ones on the cover of the video and the poster, and they're pretty fucking awesome, but the rest of them are just kind of body snatched, and that makes a lot of sense. At the end of the day, this movie just kind of is a combination of Night Beast and Invasion of the Body Snatchers. I mean, it's it's got elements of both of those things involved in it. Some rubber suit monster stuff, but at the same time, you've got this, this whole gimmick going on of this town being, like, taken over by this alien presence that's trying to multiply and continue spreading its seed. And essentially, this, you know, Tom Baines dude gets swept up in all of this and has to kind of figure out how the fuck to kill these dudes. There's, like, a drunken local doctor played by Bernard Cates who's figured out that you can essentially 
actually purge the people that have been hypnotized with like strong doses of UV light, but the only way to kill the actual creatures themselves since they're plant based is to just hack them into a million pieces and like burn them up or you know real strong pesticides or you know destroying the seeds before they can be created to begin with. So that kind of becomes their whole goal in the movie and they kind of bumble around attempting to complete that. There's lots of fucking cool action, some decent explosions at a couple of parts if I remember right. It's just a solid little sci-fi B-movie flick. A small town besieged by alien beings and the local good-looking doctor guy sorting it out. Seed People isn't trying to be amazing. It's not trying to blow your mind. It's just trying to keep you entertained for 90 minutes. I realize there's stuff that probably could have better described this than a combination of Body Snatchers and Night Beast, but it does very much have that like campy, fun, small town, rubber suit monster movie vibe with a bit of that loftier idea, as far as the science fiction stuff goes, of these aliens coming from outer space and adapting to use seeds for space travel because they're super resilient. I really like the gimmick. I like the way it's all fucking played out. It just works. Could you do better than seed people? Sure. But you could do a whole hell of a lot fucking worse. Not every movie has to blow your mind. Not every movie has to reinvent the wheel. Sometimes a movie can just be fucking fun. And seed people is a great example of that absolutely cannot recommend this enough. Should it be at the top of your fucking 2B priorities? No. But, like, just fit it in there wherever you can when you can't decide on what to watch and you just want something that you know is solidly good, but maybe not amazing. Especially like the creature design in this. I think they look really fucking cool and that's why the cover art and poster art will be forever bone chilling. Look at those fucking things. Absolutely terrifying. Be sure to tune back in when we take a look at the rest of our swoops from that Valentine's sale. I assure you it will be just as good as our first swoop special, if not a little bit better, because uh, we will be featuring some more trailers in the second one. So That's all we got for tonight, guys. This has been yet another episode of that motherfucking full moon madness. I have been Mosley, you've been a bunch of sexy beasts, and we will see you back here real soon with that swoop special to kick off our second wave. Cheers. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed this as much as I have. The world of Full Moon lives online at fullmoondirect.com. Classics like Puppet Master, Demonic Toys, Subspecies, and more recent favorites Ginger Dead Man, Evil Bong, Killjoy, and more can be found at fullmoondirect.com on DVD, Blu-ray, limited edition box sets, replicas, toys, shirts, and more. Only available at fullmoondirect.com.